Hello everybody, hola a todos. It's Finnish Duende here and welcome to the third part of the Paso a Paso video tutorial for Santuario. And um, I hope you've had a good time with the first two videos and this video should be slightly better than the first two I hope so and um, thank you for all the support it means a lot to me and uh, let's get on with the video start with the first cycle here. This falsetta is a really thumb oriented one and uh, let's just play the first cycle once, once through. It goes like this. And let's just break it down. Um, so you start with the 6th string here and uh, on the 4th fret with your little finger here. So and uh, then you proceed to go, go further on the 5th and 4th string and uh, let's just count it a little bit. One, two, three and on a 3 is the accent you have a golpe and uh, so first you do a hammer on on the fourth fret here and then a free fifth string and then a hammer on here from the second fret to the third fret on the fifth string so one two and then a free fourth string here. So one, two, three. And you can see which fingers I'm using here. Little finger here and with the middle to the ring finger here. And then the middle finger on the fourth string on the second fret here. So one, two, three, and one, one, two, three, and here you do a pull off, three, and you go back on the third fret of the fifth string here. So one. the five here you play the third third string free and basically you uh, you have this chord forming up there so you have a one two three four five six oh sorry one Seven. 
this is seven. So you do a hammer on here on the third fret, second to the third, and then a free third string here. Is the remate you've been playing before? 10, 11, 12. Okay, let's go through it once more. One, two, third string and the first fret your index finger and the second fret of the fourth string your middle finger here but you move them not slower here so on the second and third string and then you do a hammer on and pull off here Then free uh, third and second string with the thumb, everything. And you can take this whole chord after that. So one, two, three. again like before on four five six one, four, four, five, six. and then exactly the same so this cycle is pretty easy one two three four five six but oh okay sorry instead of You should probably do this remat. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's that's pretty simple. One, gets a little bit more interesting here it goes like this the third cycle here so let's count it out one two three four five six seven so this is 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, So far we have three cycles here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
And from here, you have a. This is a. This goes for the full cycle here, and basically what forms is the F major chord, and it goes like this, and it proceeds to go higher here. down a little bit so you start with the first fret of the sixth string here with your index finger and then you count one this and this is a free third string here and then the second fret with the middle finger here one two three four and here you have a second string free you can hold this this uh, middle finger here on the second fret of the third string and these are first three and first three frets so one There is a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So six is the colpa here, and the first fret on the first string here you pull off six, 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 seven, eight, and here you do a hammer on from the first fret to the second string here uh, second fret here and back to the free uh, free string uh, the second free string here and that's all the way to nine and the remata here is a little bit different uh, if you have your basic grammar like this, but you do, so you have a uh, first you start it the same with the fifth and uh, no, with the sixth and the first string here. You have that uh, E major chord with this here, but you proceed to follow up from the fourth string. The 12 is a thumb down and a golpe and up, uh, upstroke with the index finger here. 10, 11, 12. So all in all, it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then the next cycle, uh, before you, you've you done this already, the, the, the rasgel, but instead of this chord, you have this chord, yeah, but you have also your little finger on the third fret of the third string here. So, and then you pull it off, right? The four is a C chord here, four. and then you take the 
third fret of the third string with your little finger here. And the six is uh, index down, index up with a gold pen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And you don't even have to do the pull offs or anything, you can just have the chords. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you go back to this chord. Six, uh, seven, seven, eight, nine. And this is seven, eight. And with the gold, of course. Seven, eight. And I also do a gold on the nine here. Then this is a pull off here with the index finger. And then a remote. So all in all it goes like this. After this rasgeo part here, uh, you do the same thing as we did before, which goes like this. And if we count it out, it is Let's just count it from the very beginning. One, 